Nito lang, March 2, 2024, ay binisita ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ang Basilan, isang probinsya na dating kilala bilang sentro ng kaguluhan, ngunit ngayon ay isang sentro ng kapayapaan. Sa kanyang pagbisita, ipinahayag niya ang kahangahangang transformasyon ng lugar mula sa isang lugar ng kaguluhan patungo sa isang lugar ng kapayapaan. Inahayag din niya ang kanyang ipinangako na gawing sintro ng produksyon ng pagkain at pangingisda ang basilan para sa buong bansa. Sinabi niya na kapag na-unlock ang potensyal ng agri-fisheries ng basilan, magbibinipisyo ang buong bansa. At ilalagay nito ang probinsya sa harap ng sentro ng seguridad ng pagkain para sa Pilipinas. Bukod dito, personal din niyang sinaksihan ang pagsira sa mahigit 500 maluwag na mga armas na isinuko sa pamahalaan sa Basilan. Ito ay bahagi ng Small Arms and Light Weapons Management Program ng pamahalaang panlalawigan ng Basilan. Ang nais ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. na gawing sentro ng produksyon ng pagkain at pangingisda ang Basilan dahil naniniwala siya na may malaking potensyal ang probinsya sa agrikultura at pangingisda. Ang Basilan ay mayayaman sa likas na yaman at may malawak na agrikultural land at fishing grounds na maaaring gamitin para sa produksyon ng pagkain. Makakatulong ito sa pag-angat ng ekonomiya ng Basilan at magbibigay ng trabaho sa mga lokal na mamamayan sa ganitong paraan, maaaring mababawasan ang kahirapan at magkaroon ng mas maayos na pamumuhay ang mga tao sa probinsya. Bukod pa dito, ang pagiging sentro ng produksyon ng pagkain at pangingisda ng basilan ay magbibigay din ng sekuridad sa pagkain para sa buong bansa. Sa pamamagitan nito, masisiguro na may sapat na supply ng pagkain ng Pilipinas at hindi na kailangang umasa sa importasyon. Sa madaling salita, ang layunin ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. na gawing sintro ng produksyon ng pagkain at pangingista ang basilan ay hindi lamang para sa ikauunlad ng probinsya kundi para na rin sa ikabubuti ng buong bansa. Uh, the Special Assistant uh, Secretary uh, Anton Lagdameo, uh, please uh, take your seats. Uh, the distinguished ambassadors and partners from the diplomatic corps and uh, the other NGO agencies who have uh, joined us here today in commemoration for all of the assistances that they have provided in making BARM a success and in bringing peace to this area. National Defense Secretary uh, Gilbert Chodoro, National Security Council, Secretary, Secretary Ed Anyo, uh, the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation and Unity, Secretary Charlie Galvez, BARM Chief Minister al Haj Murad Ibrahim, and of course, Basilan Governor Hajiman Hataman Saliman, and other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, mga kasamahan ko sa pamahalaan, ang aking mga kababayan, Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. I am very happy to be here in beautiful, bountiful, and breathtaking Basilan. Our presence in today's event reaffirms the truth that what was once a ground zero of war is now turned into an epicenter of peace. A province that was once a province that was once tainted by violence and terrorism is now a zone of peace, made possible not by military might, but more so by a people saying no to violence. Peace is more than just a cessation of hostilities. It is about the creation of a social order that values human dignity, improves lives, and promotes progress. Peace is totally achieved, not when the sound of gunfire has ended. It is when the clamor for better lives has been met. 
This is the kind of peace that we see the dawn of here in Basilan. This is the kind of peace where the depressing tally of the casualties of war has been replaced by the statistics of human development. The kind of peace that endures because it uproots the causes of people's discontent that, per that, per that purveyors of violence may want to exploit. This is the kind of peace that draws strength from the free will of the people instead of commanding their allegiance by force. Basilan has arrived at this junction of its proud history because it refused to, to continue to be a place of violence. Like its ancestors who fended off colonizers, the Yakans, the Taosugs, the Chabacanos, repudiated modern day ter terrorism that was trying to enslave them by enchanting them with lies, attacked and threatened, the people of Basilan stood their ground again and again and again. They never ceded their communities, never surrendered the future to an ideology that clashes with the values that they hold dear. Kasama rin ang mga mamamayang kristyano ng Basilan na nanindigan sapagkat ang kristyanismo at Islam ay parehong nakapundar sa malalim sa pananalig na salam. This is the kind of peace that we are witnessing in Basilan. Of various faiths, Various faiths working together because people chose not to let diversity be a cause of division but used it as a source of strength and solidarity. So amidst these triumphs, it is just fitting that a year ago you unveiled the Kasanyangan Monument, not just a memorial of the hard road to peace or a manifesto of never going back to the path of violence but a reminder of the long journey ahead that we have yet to undertake. But by your actions, you have honored the ideals that this monument stands for. Through your small arms and light weapons and assistance for security, peace, integration, and recovery for advanced human security in Barm, these programs, the province of Basilan and its partners, have, facil have facilitated the surrender of more than 400 firearms in exchange for livelihood opportunities the documentation of more than 4,000 high-powered and small weapons, and the processing of almost 200 licenses to own and to possess firearms. You have also facilitated the surrender of former ASG members. You have established greater control over the use and movement of weapons, fostering peace and order in the province. For that is how peace is strengthened, by disarmament, by decommissioning, by demobilization in a society which has rejected arms as tools for political ends. I recognize our, our public servants in the provincial government of Basila, the Office of the Presidential Advisor, Peace and Reconciliation and Unity, or PAPRU, the AFP, the PNP, and the community and religious leaders, including the volunteers for going above and beyond your call of duty. And, of course, the political leadership, the governors here of the Barm provinces who are joining us in this important day. I also th want to thank our international partners and our allies, particularly the UN, the EU, and the governments of Japan and Australia, for your unending support to our pursuit of a just and amicable peace. It must be woven now into the fabric of social life. In the case of Basila, the harnessing of its potentials, a land blessed with resources and the people rich in talent, is the key to enduring peace, one that is based on common progress and shared prosperity. Basilan's new role is now the war against hunger. You have a land area twice the size of Singapore, blessed with a rich soil, above all, more or less typhoon-free, which makes you an ideal bulwark in our fight for food security. Ang kailangan lang ay tulungan ng Basilan para maging isang lubos na food and fisheries production center. Kasama ninyo. Kasama ninyo. Kaagapay, kasama ninyo ang pambansang pamahalaan sa bagong hamon na hinaharap ninyong ito. 
when these agro fisheries agri fisheries potentials will will be unlocked the whole country not only basilan not only barm but the whole country will benefit this makes basilan no longer an island far south but a very very strategic island in the front and center of our national goals and our transformation your future and fate are therefore intertwined with the nations please be assured that we will play our role as the partner of Basilan's great leap forward. May, we hope, may, we, may the hope that we feel today sustain what we have already achieved in Basilan and power us towards a bagong Pilipinas. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay tayong lahat at magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat.